Another smoky and hazy start to the day. You're looking at it, our El Paseo cam, and it showcases uh, obscured skies, uh, much like yesterday. Throughout the morning, there's not a lot of cloud cover, but there's smoke and haze. Uh, we've been seeing a little bit of an easterly wind flow, which should actually help the smoke situation, but it brings in the moisture and the humidity. Well, we've got a red flag warning as we move into the afternoon and tomorrow. Winds are setting up, so we're going to see more of an offshore push. Santa Ana winds come in from the north and the east. Now that, again, would be a help to our smoke situation, but it would decrease dew points, and the gusty winds in the past would exacerbate fire conditions and make it harder for the firefighters because it's going to move that fire around a bit. So there are wind advisories all around the region. We're not included in that. Typically, Santa Ana winds don't have as big an impact in the Coachella Valley. They're stronger on the other side of the pass. So we're going to keep an eye on these strong, gusty winds that are expected. This is a, a fairly mild Santa Ana event, but it is going to be a fire problem for us. Temperature-wise, though, that's the one bright spot in our forecast as the numbers come down. You know, we set records on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yesterday, we did not. And today, we're down in the lower and middle 80s. It's actually pretty comfortable out there, except the humidity is up this morning. We've been watching fairly light winds here on the valley floor, a little gustier through the pass, and that's what you would expect. Also, windy in the high desert locations. So we're going to keep an eye on winds. We're watching dew points as well. Right now, extremely high across the eastern portion of the Coachella Valley. So it is both muggy and smoky, and that's a terrible combination. We're still seeing dew points in the upper 60s. But as we move into the afternoon today, when those winds shift out of the north and east, dew points drop down into the teens. This is going to be a very... Uh, strong drop off in dew point and the area of low pressure that's dropping in. This is a loft. It's a, a situation that is more uh, prevalent in the upper atmospheric uh, areas, but that low is still going to bring in cooler surface conditions for us, which is good news. Our temperatures going down uh, about 103 today. That's six degrees cooler than yesterday. And on your comfort air seven day forecast, well, the numbers go down even farther. Look at that 96 tomorrow, 99 on Thursday. We'll be back at or above normal for the weekend, but still much more reasonable than last week. Temperatures look good. The fire situation, not so great.